Hey guys, Lobok here. So uh, we're trying a new uh, challenge, an experiment. Um, another reason that we prep is not for the end of the world, as we all say. So the scenario is, is basically uh, Tucson Police Department just knocked on my door. Said I've got uh, 10 minutes, I'm going to try and do it in, under that, to uh, vacate. There's been a chemical spill down the road. This is something that can happen anywhere to anybody, whether it's chemi chemical spill, earthquake, um, fires, uh, whatever. Um, so I think this could bring home more realistically to you who may not think that the end of the world is coming, like me, but another reason to be prepared and to think about these things that we might not have thought of. And I'm going to take some notes when I'm out camping, um, which, you know, that, that'll get into a little bit more story of this. So anyways, on to that. Let's see if I can get the truck loaded up with stuff I've already had set up. I have not preset anything that um, you're going to see me load, okay? Um, it, everything is where it normally is, okay? And when we get uh, where we're going, I'll uh, show you what we got. All right, so let me get this camera set, and we will be right on. I think that's it. <laughs> That's it. Why this is the area I like to uh, bug out to because, uh, sorry, out here we got a lot of these uh, cattle ponds that, uh, although it's not the most appetizing of water, 
filtered out, um, boiled, it'd be fine. I don't have any water filtration at this point, but uh, you know, I could definitely uh, strain it through a couple socks and then uh, boil it. So I just wanted to show you that. All right, guys. Four wheel drive, schmore wheel drive. Is that somewhere? That's good to me. Check out the road. Yes, we're in my two wheel drive, 67. And I'm sure the camera doesn't give it justice what we're getting ready to climb here. But, um, oh shit. This is gonna be the. Yeah, who needs a four-wheel drive? Of course, I would feel more comfortable if I did have one, but... <laughs> uh, well, I guess now I know I can't bring the motor home to the bug-out location. <laughs> Basically, I haven't put a tire out here yet. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what all that shit was that I threw in the back of the truck. Um, now, the scenario is this: that uh, you know, we were told that we have to evacuate. We had 10 minutes. I screwed up with my watch, so I, I can't tell exactly right now. But I'll be able to see on the film. But uh, my buddy says he doesn't think it was over three minutes. And uh, had I known that, and it had it been real, you know, he would have been obviously helping me. Um, or Cat would be, but Cat's out of town this weekend. And I would have grabbed a lot more. But the scenario I'm coming up with is that there's a chemical spill. They told me that they would house us at uh, the Davis Monthan Air Force Base, feed us, everything else, um, for the duration of the, uh, the evacuation. Um, now I don't know about you guys, I'm not down for FEMA type shit. I'd, I'd much rather come out here, relax, and uh, enjoy. And in three minutes, and you just have to trust me on that. My house is very small, um, so I store what I can wherever I can. And I started putting stuff in just duffel bags, the loose type stuff, longer term stuff. And then it started dawning on me that, you know, that's actually a good idea because in that amount of time, besides, I've got the AR, my AR right here, um, with uh, a cleaning kit, um, several magazines, um, I've got the other AR with the 22 conversion as well as a 223 bolt, um, and my uh, Mossberg 500 in there, Glock on my side as always, um, and probably uh, 500, 600 rounds. Uh, 223, about 500 rounds, two, uh, 22. Um, mental note, um, and after I'm done and I'm working on editing this, I'm going to be writing down everything that I, I remember that I forgot, is uh, I've only got the shotgun shells that are in the shotgun. <laughs> Oops. So I won't be shoot, shooting any birds with that unless I just want to make bird dust. Um, so what else do we got? This is my, this is my basic bug out bag or my basic EDC bag. Um, not really gonna go too much into it, but it's got my fire starter, my, you know, my, my canteen with my canteen cup. Um, just, you know, you guys will see my, my massive keychain. Um, it's got the regular, you know, EDC bag stuff in it. All right, then uh, took that out because I had to uh, do this. Now, I showed what I loaded in the video, you know, all this stuff. But, you know, be honest with you, um, this is the first time me and my, my buddy here that's behind the camera right now have uh, been able to get out and go camp in a long time. And uh, this, is, this is my brother, man. I've known this guy since he's in third grade. So, uh, yeah, we did bring in a few other little things. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what, D. We'll go ahead and bring it. Just, can you see? Basically, this one is nothing but MREs. Um, you got the big head dog in the way. Come on. Come on, Harley. Typical. They're used to it. Um, bunch of MREs. 
flour, beans, um, powdered taters, <laughs> uh, all sorts of stuff. Dehydrated, dissolved it. Here's probably about a dozen orange in there, as well as some other stuff. This one is just full of various stuff, as well as uh, some water. Come on, dude. I knew I should have grabbed your damn tire for something. This one's full of a uh, bunch of different mountain house. Mountain house. Hardy. <laughs> bunch of mountain house. Few little MREs. And then water. There's uh, four, four uh, two liters here. Got two there. Um, I think there's some more in here. I'll show you that. But my uh, my uh, toolbox in the truck has at least a dozen bottles in that, and uh, that is that's just always there. Um, living in the desert, the last thing I want to be without is uh, water. And my water. Um, so those two things are always with me no matter what. So we got that. And this one, this one's a little bit more fun. Can you tell I work in a lab? <laughs> Watch out, dude. Come on. Well, where's your stick, dumbass? This one is uh, orange drink mix. Uh, cocoa, uh, peanut butter, to uh, coffee, more water, crackers, uh, some uh, mackerel, um, just all sorts of various more mackerel, more mackerel, a bunch of instant oatmeal, water, um, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of microwavable popcorn, I'd have to try that, <laughs> give me a few more whiskeys, we might see if we can figure that out, we'll figure it out, <laughs> um, lots of coffee, um, lots of, Bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of oatmeal packets, just a bunch of kind of everything. Um, you know, I, I would not compare it to say anything between what we have here. Um, in my EDC bag is at least two more MREs, as well as various uh, power bars and, uh, you know, cliff bars and stuff like that. Um, I would not hesitate to say that me and him, if need be, could stay out here. Um, and not including what we could hunt because there's javelina all over the freaking place out here. Cow. Um, and yeah, I mean, if it was shit in Japan, this is, this is cow country. You can see it all over the place. Um, I got one in my box here. Here, go play some popcorn. Um, so that's what, that's what I brought. I, I, I think I could easily foresee staying here for a month. Um, if we had to. Now, if I was told that we, we were bugging out for, uh, uh, or, you know, the cops said, you know, you're only going to be gone, you know, maybe maybe five days or something like that, um, why would I need this much food? Because what if it's longer than that, you know? Um, I picked this spot. This is kind of my, my ideal bug out location. Uh, if I'm not in the motorhome, the motorhome would not make it back here. I'm kind of impressed that the two-wheel drive 67 did. Um, go ahead, yeah. I don't know what that did. Um, the video that we did take earlier, um, climbing that hill, I know that the camera's not going to do it justice. But um, it was, I was surprised it made it. The nice thing about the here is that there's a little bit of water running down there, but this is ranch territory. And there are cattle troughs all over the place, uh, cattle ponds all over the place. Um, I, I don't have a water, a water filtration system yet. I need to get, you know, maybe one of hand pump ones, something like that. Um, but uh, in, in worst case scenario, I could filter it through a sock and then boil it, and it would work just fine. So, with that, um, I'll catch up with you guys uh, an update another time. Take it easy. All right, so there you have it. I know it's not uh, complete, and uh, you know. 
overwhelmingly full of uh, information. <laughs> But it was uh, an exercise of getting the hell out when you have to get the hell out right now. And I don't care who you are or where you're at, that is a reasonable possibility. Uh, if you have a thousand acres up in the hills, you may have a fire um, and you have to go. Um, do you, th this whole purpose with it, of this was to look at your preps. And although you may have six months, 30 days, whatever you have, do you have it? or some stuff ready to go so you can just grab it and go um, in a real life situation not the end of the world but you know like in my case I came up with something like uh, uh, you know uh, what was it uh, chemical spill in my area and after looking at you know the video I can see that you couldn't really hear a lot of what I said because of uh, or I can hear that you couldn't hear that a lot of what I said because of the wind so uh, in closing, this is about you got to go. Uh, my scenario was a chemical spill. Uh, the cops told me that I had 10 minutes to go. I think I did it in just right around three and a half minutes. Um, and nothing was staged just because I'm in a small place. And uh, I have to store a lot of my stuff in duffel bags and boxes and stuff like that. So it does make it easier. Um, but I could have gone to the Air Force Base where they told me they would uh, house us, um, but I don't want to go to no FEMA thing because I want to be able to leave when I want to leave. I want to be able to do what I want to do, and I don't want people telling me what I have to do. Uh, so that that's just not that's not my plans. Um, so I want you to look at your props. Are you ready to go right now? So y'all, um, there we go, and uh, I'm back into making videos. Uh, we're all set now. Uh, we're good. Think about your preps. Think smart. And uh, have fun while you're doing it. Y'all, take care. Um, because I think this is an important topic to think about. And it makes it more realistic and shows that we're not just preparing for the end of the world. It could be anything. Um, so this, this could help uh, educate, I think. Y'all, take care. And uh, don't forget to laugh.